Hello friend, how is it going? Welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. 2007 Toyota Tacoma two-wheel drive with approximately 167,000 miles on the odometer. And she came today for automatic transmission problem. The owner says there is an automatic transmission shutter, there is an automatic transmission vibration under the load, which started approximately six months ago. The, basically, the story is when he was towing his very small trailer, light and small trailer, he will start experiencing some transmission problems. These are his words. So he got the automatic transmission fluid replaced while being away from here and kept using the vehicle. The problem will become a little bit worse. So he spent, he has a bill on the table, $500 on complete automatic transmission diagnosis which some shop drove the vehicle they said they cannot duplicate they read the codes using a scanner they said no codes in transmission and they did complete flash using BG products the total was $500 later, nothing improved, nothing changed, and he still has shuddering problem, vibrations, and he calls it shuddering. So this is what's happening. He called me, made appointment, and here we are today. I said if he can duplicate if he can show me the problem he said yeah I should be able to to show you so we left the shop and on the flat the transmission was shifting absolutely perfectly there was no vibration or shudder well as we starting going uphill more and more steep part of the town here we were getting into Anytime he stopped and he started driving, there was definitely vibration on entire vehicle. But if you, for example, try to put your hand on that shifter, which is in the console, it didn't feel like it's coming from transmission, despite the fact there is shifting linkage and so on. If the tranny was grinding inside or shuddering, you will feel that vibration. To me, it felt like from the back of the vehicle or underneath the vehicle, definitely not front on directly where the tranny is, maybe a little bit somewhere else in the back. So we came back and I put the taco on the lift and start my visual inspection. And you always have to look on the whole picture it doesn't matter that the owner says a hey, transmission 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 you have to consider everything because what else could be creating vibration under the load well definitely propeller shaft and its u-joints it could be also failing rear diff the gears there could be shavings on the magnet uh, if there is a problem with the gears, if the teeth are grinding each other. So that could be option to get the drain plug out and observe the magnet if there are not a large shavings on it. But when I turn the wheels like this, I don't hear any grinding. So it never happened. Also, you could go and not only check the quality of the fluid, this is overflow for adjusting the level, right? If these shops, which are not specialized on Toyotas, 
They didn't even put the WS fluid, the ATF WS from Toyota. They put a BG aftermarket fluid on it. If you read the Toyota manuals, that already could cause malfunction in the automatic transmission. Not to mention they probably didn't adjust it the level correctly, or maybe they did. What you are looking at is automatic transmission mount that better not be broken so i have a lift on it here and you can observe that there is a minimal play and uh, there's no separation of this rubber element from the metal so that could definitely if that happened under the load the tranny could be moving sideways or up and down and so on but when i apply reasonable amount there is a very little play but i was a little bit concerned when i grabbed this propeller shaft with both hands here i will say not only very tiny seepage of the transmission fluid from here the output shaft seal but i was kind of focusing on this area um, if I when I grab that with both hands, I actually feel a little bit more of play up and down or sideways on that bearing which is in the back than usually. I even went outside in the parking lot and checked every single other taco which is here, and we have three at this moment. And there was basically zero play. There is a very slight play here. So that could have caused it. But again, it's not excessive. There's not even a millimeter. There will be like 0.2 of millimeter. That's what I feel there. It's not here in the U joints, but it's inside. So that's for the future. Also, now we are looking on the support bearing here and the play you see right now you are observing it this is absolutely normal and if we replace that today the play will be absolutely identical there's no cracks in the wrapper everything seems to be absolutely fine and i don't have any doubts about it here so you have to watch the u-joints that uh, they are okay and uh, those needle bearings are fine and then finally and I took it apart already I finally saw that here and let's zoom on it here one of those dust covers oh, what is happening again with my camera Hello, baby. What are you doing? Do you see that dust cover? Right here, it's all lifted. And if you look right here, above my finger, that's a rust coming out. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What do you say, my friend? What do you say? What do you say about the amount of rust right here? What do you say? Do you see that? This could actually, the failing U-joint could cause the problem the u-joint will be so-called binding and that could create grinding sound or feeling of that transmission shudder all of that is possible all of that above it's possible and you will see with me that this owner is very lucky because he came to the right place and he doesn't need new transmission. We were able, putting hats together with the landlord, we were able, in a reasonable time, in short time, found the problem and I will present it to you gladly right now. And you won't believe in what condition this puppy is. This might be better visibility for you. So look, normally that you join, there are needle bearings and grease inside. This seems to be non-greasable unit. So this, how easily it should be moving. 
and it should be moving also this way. But look, when I grab it, my friend, this will not move at all. I cannot turn it. I hope you can see the detail it moves. This is max I can move it. It's completely frozen right here that the rust which was flowing out we saw it there's absolute damage to it it didn't fail the way which normally the needle bearings will fall out and it will start moving like that the owner of this vehicle he actually likes to work on his trucks he has also a legendary forerunner so he normally does his stuff but he overlooked or underestimated this needle bearing in that u-joint i cannot move it right or left more than what is it two millimeters it's completely frozen and this has to be replaced immediately here we can see how it's supposed to look like installed without any play just perfect so I'm pulling out of the shop here in the flat area it was doing nothing there were no problems with it it was all uphill yep this is the uphill it's not very steep but this is where it started from that stop sign definitely there was that noise shudder vibration kind of I will say grinding I'll be quiet listen yep it's fixed there's nothing happening here we can go back and here are the remainings remnants can you see inside can you see that needle bearing are like a tiny needles inside Hmm, I'm doing it upside down, so I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, I think it's visible. So these are basically right here, right that. This is what we took apart, and this is how it moves. Despite the fact the grease it's already bad, but it's still it's smooth and there's no play. And this is the one which is completely stuck it's completely seized you cannot move it anymore that's done and that was causing the vibrations and on this example you can see how important it is for us to listen to the customer what they say and interview them but definitely not follow what they think we have to make a sense of the whole picture when we are doing diagnosis Listen what I say. He was focused on transmission. Now he's super happy because he doesn't need to replace one. And all it was was diagnostic time and the replacing you, John. So he's gone. He's very happy. And I'm sure he will celebrate tonight. I hope you find this video helpful. And if you like it, give it a thumb up, please. Stay tuned because I have way more coming your way soon. Thank you for watching my friend and have a great day.